Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript interview question and answer series. Today's question is explain array dot unshift method. If you remember in the previous episodes, we have learned a little bit about array methods. So think of unshift is equivalent to push but opposite, right? So think of it this way, pop and shift are same. Push and unshift are almost similar except opposite, right? I don't want to confuse you, but let me explain it to you. Push will add a new element at the end of the array. Right? Unshift will add the new element at the beginning of the array. So what does unshift do? It will add the new element at the beginning of the array. And since we are adding a new item to the array, the length of the array increases by one. It would, when you say, a new uh, when you print the length it will give you length plus one because you are adding a new element at the beginning of the array let me show you in action with hands-on example all right so it's time since we are learning a lot about array methods if you see last few episodes we have covered a lot of array methods so I'll try and cover them all here that's for your summary but first let's see what does unshift do students dot unshift means it will add a new data right so if you see it takes one or more elements right so I can say add 67 at the starting of the array and then I can say console.log students right so now it would add the new element 67 at the beginning of the array and the length will be 1 2 3 4 5 right so let me show you that in action so it has added 67 at the starting of the array, right? And if you just want to get the length, you can do student student dot length, right? Now see, five is the length, and you can see 67 is inserted at position zero index, right? Uh, similarly, um, you can add, insert an array totally, right? And you can say. Right. Now see. So now we have added two. Right. It's an. It's a. However, it's an array inside array. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass multiple values. So now you see 67, 787. So I am passing more than one value. Right. To unshift and it will get inserted in the array. So now the length has become six. Four plus two six. Right. So I hope it's clear what unshift is. Um, this is similarly uh, an analog of which could be you can think of like console.log opposite of it which is dot push. Right? So when you do push right, it will insert at the end of the array. Unshift will add at the beginning of it. Right? So if you just want to see that in action let me quickly show you that. So you see here 7878 because we did a push it added at the end of the array 67 and 787 are unshift so it got added in the beginning of it see here right so when you're learning array methods try and relate to other methods so that's it that's why it's easy right so some of the other methods that you can relate to are students dot pop right so this will remove the element now dot shift and start shift right pop push shift unshift right so you can relate to this so push will insert unshift will insert at the beginning pop will remove from the last uh, from the end of the remove an element at the end of the array shift will remove the element from the beginning of the array so this is a good way of learning by relating multiple methods I hope it's helpful to you in helping you in preparing your interviews. I will keep bringing you more questions. Stay tuned. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Keep learning. Keep growing.